Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the circle and its parts. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly illustrate a circle, properly identify the parts of the circle, and accurately solve simple problems involving circles. So what is a circle? A circle is a set of points, okay? A set of points in a plane that are equidistant. Ibig sabihin, equal ang distance from a fixed point that is called the center of the circle. Example, if we have here the center of the circle, okay, center of the circle, then we have here, let's say, a uh, point, okay? So this point, another point, another point, another point, 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 point. So these points are pareho ang distant, equidistant. So pareho ang distance nila from this point right here. Okay? From the center to this point, pareho sila ng distance. Lahat sila. Okay? So, pag i-connect natin yung mga points na yan, i-connect natin yung mga points na yan, it forms the circle. Okay? It forms the circle. Yung circle class, hindi yung space na nandito sa loob. Hindi. It's this one. Ito yung na-form. Ayan. So, these are set of points, okay, that have the same distance from the center of the circle. We have what we call the radius or ang plural kapag ka marami, so it's called the radii, okay, pag marami, radii. So a radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. Let's say we have here a point, okay, so the distance... The distance from the center to this point is what we call the radius. Okay, the radius. It forms a segment right here from the center to the point on the circle, and that is called radius. So, maraming radius. Halimbawa, there's another point right here. The distance from the center up to this point is also called the radius. Halimbawa, uh, straight yan. Okay, so it's the point right here. So, it's also the radius. A radius. So, dalawa na sila. It's radii. Okay? So, again, we have here the center of the circle. And the distance uh, from the center to any point in the circle is called the radius. Pag marami, radii. Um, the circumference of a circle, it is the distance around the circle. So, para siyang perimeter. Ano, kung regular polygon siya, para siyang... Um, Perimeter. So, for a circle, it is called the circumference. The distance around the circle. Okay? The distance around the circle. The circumference of a circle is given by the formula 2 pi r, where r is the radius. And, of course, yung pi natin, uh, you can use a calculator for this. This is 3.14, um, approximately 3.14. Okay? So, yung pi. We have what we call an arc, okay? The arc is a set of points along the circle, okay, part siya ng circle, connecting two radii. For this example, etong shaded portion dito, ito siya, itong naka-emphasize dito, it is what we call the arc of a circle, okay? This is the arc. It connects two radii. So, we have here a radius and another radius, and it connects them. So, this is what we call the arc, we also have a semicircle. Okay, semicircle, it's an arc that is half of the circumference. So, remember that the circumference is the distance around the circle. Okay, the distance around the circle. And half of that distance, half of the circumference, this is called the semicircle. Okay, the semicircle. Ayan. Okay, yung isang buong circle, hinati ng diameter, and yung arc na na-form niya, ayan, the arc that is formed, is called the semicircle. So, sa isang circle, may, um, kung hahatian mo yun sa dalawa, merong dalawang semicircle. Okay? We have what we call the major arc. Major arc. Remember, yung arc natin, it connects two radii. Now, a major arc is an arc that is longer than a semicircle. Longer than a semicircle. Remember that a semicircle is just half of the circle. Half of the circle. Now, more than that, or longer than that, is what we call the major arc. So, in this example, etong dalawang radii na ito, this is what yung sa red, 
Okay, so red na arc. This is what we call a major arc because this is longer than a semicircle. Okay, now this smaller one, okay, this smaller one is what we call a minor arc. Ano ba yung minor arc? An arc that is shorter than a semicircle. So, eto yung minor arc niya. Okay? Now, we also have what we call a chord. Okay, ano ba yung chord? Ma'am, yung nilalagay kapag kinakasal, hindi naman. Okay. A chord in mathematics, it is a line segment. Oh, line segment siya, ibig sabihin may, may starting point at saka meron siyang katapusan. Okay, may end points. Okay? So, a line segment connecting two points on the circle. So, a chord is a line segment that connects two points on the circle. So, uh, in this example, so we have this one. A point on the circle, this is another point on the circle. And if you form a line segment, if you connect these two points, you form a line segment. And we call that a chord. Okay? Chord. Uh, we can also connect, let's say, uh, we have here another point. So, we can form a line segment connecting these two points. Let's say, straight line. Yan. It's very hard for me to draw a straight line using a digital board. Okay? Alimbo, a straight line. Yan. So, this is also an example of a chord. Okay. We also have what we call a diameter. Diameter, it is a chord that passes through the center. Okay, a chord is uh, that passes through the center. So this is the center of the circle. If you connect two points, two points that pass through this center, that is called the diameter. And also, as you notice, halimba, we have here um, two points. Then you connect that, and that's an example of a chord. And then Ito naman dito. So, if you notice, the diameter is actually the longest chord in a circle. Okay? That's the longest chord because it passes through the center. Ito yung pinaka, pinaka mahabang chord sa isang circle. Okay? That's the diameter. Next, we have what we call the secant. Okay? Hindi second, but it's a secant. Okay? A line that intersects the circle at two points. Okay? It intersects the circle at two points. But it, it goes forever outside the circle. Hindi kagaya ng chord. Yung chord naman may end points. Hanggang dun lang sa point ng circle. Ang secant, para siyang chord, but it continues outside the circle. Okay? So, secant, it is a line that intersects the circle at two points. Ayan. So, this is an example of a secant. Ito siya. And dito yung point sa circle. Ayan. But the line goes uh, forever, no, outside the circle. Okay? It extends outside the circle. So, it's a secant. Pwede ganyan. Okay? So, it's a, an example of a secant. Pwede naman ganito. Secant. Another example would be... Alright. But, um, yung kaibahan lang niya sa chord, ang chord hanggang dun lang sa uh, end point ng point sa circle. But a secant, it goes forever outside Okay, it extends outside the circle. Next, we have what we call a tangent. It is also a line that intersects the circle, but only at one point in the circle. Hindi ka guys sa secant. Sa secant naman, dalawang points, no? It intersects two points on the circle. Yung tangent naman, only one point. And we call this point the point of tangency. Okay, we call this point as the point of tangency. Okay, kasi dito nag-intersect ang circle at saka yung line mismo. Okay? Again, when a line intersects only one point on the circle, we call that a tangent line. Tangent line. But if a line intersects two points, exactly two points um, on the circle, then we call that secant. Okay? We have what we call inscribed angle. Angles naman tayo. Inscribed angles are angles that are formed by two chords whose vertex is on the circle. So, we have here a chord, another chord, and the vertex ng angle ay nasa circle mismo. It's a point of the point on the circle. And this angle that is formed with that uh, by, by the two chords, by the two chords, wherein uh, yung vertex nasa circle mismo, we call that inscribed angle. Inscribed angle. Now, let's try this. What do you call the blue line that touches the circle? Okay, this one is the blue line that touches the circle. Remember, um, it touches the circle at exactly two points. 
Okay? And it goes forever. It extends outside the circle. Ano? So, we call this a secant. Okay? Secant. The line is a secant of the circle. What is the perimeter? Example 2 tayo. What is the perimeter of the triangle formed by joining the centers of the three identical centers? Circles, three identical circles, identical sila, which means pareho sila ng diameter, pareho sila ng radius, okay? Um, with a diameter of 4 centimeters, okay? Itong diameter is 4 centimeters. Now, ang sabi, what is the perimeter of the triangle? Okay, itong triangle na ito, na form yan by connecting the center of the three identical circles. Ibig sabihin, Kung identical yung centers, yung circles, ibig sabihin, the, the, the triangles also have identical or congruent sides. Okay? So, this is equal to this side and to this side. So, the three sides of the triangle are equal. Now, if we compute for the perimeter of the triangle, since equal silang tatlo, that is just perimeter equals 3S. Okay? 3S or side plus side plus side. Okay, so tatlong side. Now, um, paano natin makukuha kung anong measurement ng side na ito? Okay, remember that uh, the circles I are identical. So, if if this is the, the center of the circle, meaning this is a radius, okay, a radius of the circle. If this is the center, this is also the radius. Okay, so dalawang radius yan, ibig sabihin, ang 2 times the radius, that's the diameter. Okay, and that is equal to 4 cm. Again, this is one radius, this is another radius. So, diameter is just twice the radius. Okay, twice the radius of the circle. So, ibig sabihin, this is 4 cm. This is also 4 cm. And this is also 4 cm. And so, that's 3 times 4. Alright? And so, we have 3 times 4 is 12 centimeters. So, the perimeter of the triangle is 12 centimeters.